and welcome. If you're new here, I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. Today I wanted to show you how to save time and create interactive lessons. Let's dive in. First thing I do is head over to Google and search for similarity of triangles because that's what I'm working on. And I put PPT because PowerPoints is generally where I have my better luck finding stuff, but you could search for Google Slides, scroll through, look at a few, find one that you like, and make a copy. I converted it to Google Slides, gave credit to Mr. or Mrs. Lovemore. They have their name on the slide, and it's perfect. Went through all of the information on this slide deck, and it's got a ton of information already created. Great teaching tool. And when I scrolled down to the end, I found that they had a bunch of practice problems. I deleted those little boxes, but you don't have to delete the little title boxes because it has no bearing. It won't even show. So right here, after the year turn slide, there are all these examples. They can be interactive. All you need to do is go to Nearpod add-on. If you do not have the add-on, just go to get add-ons and search for Nearpod. Once you have it, open this lesson in Nearpod. The window will show up right there on your slides off to the side with all of the Nearpod features. Log in with your Google account and it brings up all these features that Nearpod can do for you. Adds it right to your slide deck that you already have created. You can add audio, you can do draw it, which are my favorites. Because the students can actually write and draw right on the slide and show me their work. But you have many options. I also like the fill in the blank if I want them to answer my prompts. They can do fill in the blanks. They can do short answer response. So click on the slide that you want to convert. Convert to draw it. The image that you had on the previous slide, the one you converted to a draw it, it'll do a duplicate of that slide. Now the students can actually edit it. You can delete the original or leave it there. Sometimes I create just my regular PowerPoint or a slideshow and keep a separate one that's already near pod. Now click on your next problem, convert it to draw it. I'm going to leave the duplicate slide in there because I'll just read the problem probably to the students and then they can fill it out. Keep going, convert to draw it. So you're going to do that for every single slide that you want to convert to a draw it. Once you've converted all your slides, you're going to click save and go to Nearpod. Here, your Google slides that you've just put all the draw it's on will show up within Nearpod. So now you can go to preview and see what the students see. Here we have all the slides, all the notes. The students would go through all the notes if they wanted to do, if you wanted the students to do this on their own, or if you wanted to do it live, you can do this live and it's going to be on their screen where they can actually see it nice and big. They can make it bigger on their monitor, whatever they need to do. It's very, very helpful. Once they get to the lessons where you started putting the draw wits or whatever responses that you had. So in my case, I did all draw wits. Remember the first slide I left there, this is going to be their direction slide, but you could delete that from your original before you save it to Nearpod. This is the one where they can draw it. They have all the tools at the bottom. They can write, they can erase, they can highlight. Whatever it is that they need to do on this slide, they can choose the ink color. They could have even written help, I guess, if they wanted to. 
because you can actually monitor them in real time and you can see all your students' screens as they write. You can see them as they erase, whatever they need to do. So every single slide that I have a draw it on, the students will need to answer. So Nearpod makes it really easy to share the lessons that you've created within your PLC. So here you go and you can share to other teachers. These lessons you can do live. So during a Zoom call, a Google Meets, or you can assign it and they can do it self-paced. If they want, if you want them to do the join.nearpod.com, they would just type in this code and it would take them right to your assignment. For me, the easiest way is to get the link and then I just post it into my learning management system. For me, it's Google Classroom. Copy the link and paste it into Google Classroom. And then when the students log in, it will take them right to the Nearpod lesson. Right here, this is where you make it so that they cannot skip slides that have something for them to do. So they can't just advance and skip right through them. So hope you found this helpful. Please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe so that you will be notified next week when my new video comes out about gamification and how we're going to quickly and easily conquer that one too. Step out, be uniquely wonderful you, and have a great day.